have to be out here by the Ellerslie Hill. And I've got Lee Thinnes and I've got Danielle Johnson and we're doing the Platinum Experience. And um, we've got a big group behind us and I think everybody's having fun. And <laughs> So I'll start with Danielle. So no girl has won the Derby. You have to come back with a vengeance next year and be riding in this race. You reckon you pull it off? Yeah, I hope so. I run third a couple of years ago. Um, there's three females riding in it. Oh, actually four now. I'm um, riding in it this year. So hopefully none of them win it and I'll win it next year and I'll be the first one. But don't tell them I said that. Sam Collett's on my horse, so I'm oh. hoping that she pulls it off. That would be nice for me. So at least normally you would be probably on one of Tony Pike's horses. Yeah, it's, um, a little bit disappointing. I'm not riding today, but um, yeah, hopefully Vinny's a good mate of mine, so hopefully he can win. Were you a naughty boy? Did you get suspended? Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> standing here with Charlene Mitchell and her family sponsors the Bone Crusher New Zealand Stakes. We're standing here in front of his beautiful statue. I think it's the best race of the carnival. Well it's quite fitting being that Bone Crusher won nine group one races in his career and of course this race he won twice. So I thought you were gonna win, and yeah, like, <laughs> and then coming over that crossing, you just oh, about yeah. came a cropper. Oh yeah, I almost won it myself, <laughs> just by myself at my horse. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty proud of him. But it was a bit awkward. <laughs> Loved it. Look at the state of your your area here. I guess the big girl's got to eat, doesn't she? Your clothes are a bit small for you, Hazel. <laughs> I know how that feels. <laughs> Positivity. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's great to be here. Glory days. Sam Collett looking for her first group one winner. And you've got it, Sammy. Glory days for Bill Thurlow wins the Barber and Thompson Open Cup. The very first person I saw when I walked into the Cuvée bar was you. You just look amazing. Now, can you tell me what was your inspiration? This outfit was very rushed. Yeah. I just threw together what I had in my wardrobe and it was all red, so I just went with red, red nails, red outfit, red this, this thing, this thing, yeah. Well, we both had the same <laughs> ideas, obviously. Oh. 